Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you joined me. I want to read a scripture and talk to you about how um, the Lord would have us to behave as disciples of Jesus Christ. The uh, first thing I want to read is uh, Luke chapter 14 beginning at verse 25. It says, Now great multitudes went after him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me, and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Well, at the first uh, reading of that, it sounds like, what is Jesus saying? I'm supposed to hate my own family? So the first mark of a disciple is, how do you relate to your own family and to yourself? The first thing is, you and I need to remember this, Jesus Christ is not really saying we need to literally hate and take action against our own family and immediate family. What he's saying is based upon a Hebrew idiom from the Old Testament. I'll read you an example in Matthew 10.37 that will help you understand this passage. Matthew 10.37 says, He who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me so what he is what he is basically saying is comparative that compared to Jesus Christ we're not supposed to love others more than him we're supposed to love him more well what in the world does Jesus mean why does he say that the way you can understand that is by understanding John chapter 13 34 and I'll read it a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Well, somebody might say, well, well that's a con conflict. It's like one case, he says, you need to hate your mother and father, and the other one says you're supposed to love one another. It's all uh, relative. He wants us to love him and to love one another, but... In comparison, he wants us to put him first in our life. That's really what it's what it really means. Um, one example of that is in John 14, 21, where it says, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. So what Jesus is really saying is he wants us to love him and demonstrate that by being obedient to him. He's not telling us we're supposed to hate and fight one another or anything like that. It has to do with putting him first in our life, and if we do, then we'll obey him. Now, why does Jesus want us to obey him? The reason is because all of his commandments for us are good. Our life will be so much better if we will put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and if we will obey him, and you might say, well, what am I supposed to do? Well, if you read the Bible, it tells us what we're supposed to do, what we're not supposed to do. So when we obey God, your life will be better, and you will have a proper relationship with God and one another. He wants us to love all Him and one another, but obey Him because that's what's best for us and our relationships with others. Okay? God bless you. Have a great day.